Good evening, everybody. Guess where we are? We're not at Disney Springs because we went there like six days in a row. We are at. We went there twice. Epcot's International Food and Wine Festival. Never been here before. We finally got Brazil. We got the crispy pork belly. I haven't even tried it yet, but we weren't gonna come here because we're coming here tomorrow for like the evening. Um, but I looked up who's playing at Eats That Beat, and they're called Postmodern Jukebox. We're gonna get one, right? Yes, Postmodern Jukebox, and they're just like uh, like they take modern songs and sing them rap pack style. So I'm pretty excited. So I was like, can we just go see them, please? Yes. And Sarah was super nice and said yes. We're gonna get water and head over. Look at that. It looks so tasty. And it was four seventy or five seventy-five plus or with tax. What's the verdict? Delicious. I think this is Chelsea. Is it? I like the, the beans. So it's uh, crispy pork belly sitting on refried beans and tomatoes and juices and deliciousness. Onions. It's super good though. It is, it is a crowd, like it is a, a festival favorite. Like there's always a line at Brazil and everyone's and always like raving about like it. Extra yeah, they definitely whoop it up for Brazil. I really want a pumpkin spice funnel cake though. There's that, a line for that too. I know, I just saw a woman walk by with one. I've never had it and I really want to try. So here's where we are. We didn't realize it was going to be this busy. I think because it's super nice out, it feels like fall. Like there's a breeze. It's like 70. There's no humidity. I could wear a hoodie and be comfortable. Don't need a hoodie, but would, would be comfortable. So I think that's helping the crowd stay out tonight. But this will be a good show. There are people literally wearing jackets and jeans. We're not getting to that point yet, guys. I have leggings on, but they're thin, like I'm not, but I'm not hot whatsoever. I heard a version of this band, this band playing Mr. Brightside on YouTube, and it's had a really good all doo wop style. And welcome to the stage, Postmodern Jukebox! Postmodern jukebox was amazing. Um, super guy who came out, and it's beautiful. Out. And we realized that we could come to the American Pavilion and check out. They have like a whole new set of merchandise for every state in America. And look at these cute little license, license plates. plates. And this one is Illinois, which is where we're from. And it has the four stars for the Chicago flag, which didn't realize that. And, but then it also says the birthplace of Walt Disney. Usually Illinois is associated with Lincoln, yeah. which we still are proud of. <laughs> but being in Disney World right now, we're proud that we're the birthplace of Walt Disney. Like all of these are like represented. I see, oh my gosh. Is there, if there's a shirt with that on there, we're getting it. Look at all these. It doesn't, doesn't, have, it doesn't have every state. Maybe they're going to so come out with them. there's Illinois other things. Yeah. Right. yeah. But here they've got like more plates. Look at these. We should get that. We should get that right now. How much is it? $32. $32. So all of these, they're like 10 $32.
And they've got them in shirts. They've got them in these mason jars. Racing to glory. A peachy state. Ooh, all of these. Ooh. But Sarah, come look at that. The hat's super cool. <gasps> oh. I think Mickey's only on Illinois. It says the American Adventure on the side. I love that. That's oh. so cool that this is what. Epcot World Showcase. How much are you? $24.99. Everybody knows I'm a, good, I'm a sucker for a new hat. No, Mickey's on California. Oh, okay. Wait, how come this one is living in paradise? That one's red and's got Mickey and Minnie. This says just Mickey. Because there's multiple. Yeah. Wow. Here's New York. Louie, Dewey, and Louie. Oh, no. Honest and able. 21st Illinois. state. Established That's like 1818. Honest A, but honest and able. Oh, that's on the back. That's on the, that's on the front, that's on the back. <gasps> $29.99. Matt, here's Jersey for you. Always exciting. We Guys. have all of our states. I have Ohio, Michigan, New Jersey. They have like Kelsey, Dom, and Matt's states They have a blanket for them. Oh my god, I can't watch this so bad. Wish me luck right now trying to get out of here without buying all of it. America's Garden Theater because that's where one of the fireworks launches off towards the end and when we watched it for the first time we got terrified because it scared us so bad. Not the first time illumination ever but the first time we were right there by the yes. cannon. So tonight it, we, it's just a good spot to watch it because it's not too crowded but we had these people by us and I was like Sarah I'm going to try to get on the camera that firework because none of their them react. their reaction because none of them realized it was going to happen. Well because it's super windy today I didn't realize it but they didn't shoot those off because they're probably too close to the guest area. Unless they just move them forward because the fireworks didn't shoot off, they were just closer. Right, I just think they shoot them off closer when it's too windy. Because yeah. I've seen them, like last time you saw them, they shot off them. But it didn't go off, so the whole time we're like, I have cameras on these strangers, nothing happened. So that's all our footage from Olympia. Yeah. Alright, we're back at home, but we're not signing off just yet. You're gonna get a little bit of a home vlog today as well as an Epcot vlog. Excuse because me. that little girl right there, she doesn't yell it yet, but she's about to get a bath. Alright, so this is what we do. I get in the tub with Eve. Sarah monitors outside of the tub and assists with all things water and soap. We have a fresh Mickey Mouse towel for her. And we got our Good dog, puppy, tearless dog shampoo. Smells like baby powder. So good. Are you tired now? Now the drying process of this little floofy ball. Yeah. This is another whole process. <laughs> she did so good this time she though. Did. 
the best ever. It's like she's, she like stood and was just like, cling me humans. Then she gets frustrated. Okay, why don't you put her on the ground and let her do a shake. Okay. This is what we do. We let her do a shake <laughs> and then we pat her down again. And then we do another shake. Shake it off. Shake it off, Eve. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Oh, shoot. There it is. Good. You need another rub down. She's all fresh and clean. She's so sweet. I want someone to do this to me. <laughs> Sorry, just for the pup. Just relax. Just relax. All right. It is late, but not as late as it has been. No. We got a clean pup. Yeah. Oh, she wants to drink water. When she gets really worked up, she is really sassy and has to like go take like one drink of water, and then she like that's like her like. But then she's good, but yeah, we're going to bed. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>